I can see the whole of Funky Planet from up here. I wonder where Dippy and Clara are today. Oh, they're in Funky Valley. It was autumn in Funky Valley. The sun was shivering. The leaves were turning orange as a chilly wind was blowing the conkers off the horse chestnut tree. The animals had been on holiday all summer, playing, chasing and generally having fun. But all good things come to an end. Today is a special day, said Hoot, because today is the first day of term. Oh, not school, said Daphne and Porker. Yippee, school! So get ready for your lessons, said Hoot, and don't be late for the school bus. Clara packed her school books in her book bag and placed the sandwich in her lunchbox. Horatio put as many apples as he could into his book bag and a book into his lunchbox. Dippy filled her lunchbox and book bag with grass pudding. Meanwhile, Snap was getting very nervous. It was the first time he had walked to the farmyard on his own. This was the first time he had been on the school bus. The first time he had been in the playground. And the first time he had gone into the schoolhouse for lessons. Snap couldn't find a chair, so he sat on the floor at the back of the class. His mother had told him to work hard at school, but he couldn't see the teacher. And the other animals made such a noise that he couldn't hear the teacher. Quiet, quiet, shouted the teacher. Settle down, class. You're back at school now. Who has done their woodwork homework? Please, sir, I have, said an excited Dippy. Oh, very nice, Dippy. The other animals held up their homework for the teacher to inspect. Snap had brought in the wooden sailing ship he had made, but he couldn't attract the teacher's attention. <laughs> the little crocodile burst into tears. <laughs> Snap, said Clara. I didn't know you had started school. Now dry those crocodile tears and come and sit next to me at the front. <laughs> As you can see, said the teacher, we have a new student with us this term, so I hope you will all show Snap the ropes. Mm. Oh, goody, said Dippy. I love tying knots. Can I show him how to do a bow? So the animals helped Snap learn about school life. Horatio showed him how to do his sums. If you have ten apples, then eat them all, asked Horatio. What do you have left? A tummy ache, said Snap. Gertrude showed him the story corner. At break time, Porker showed Snap the mud hole. Come on in, said Porker. This is the coolest thing to do at break time. The animals shared their pack lunches with Snap. But Snap didn't want the grass pudding or the cucumber sandwich. What do you eat? asked Daphne nervously. Apples, said Snap. They're good for the teeth. It was time for the afternoon sports lesson, but when they arrived at the sports field to play football, they found it had been turned into a supermarket car park. <laughs> well, what are we going to do now? said the teacher. We can't play football without a football field. I know just the place, said Snap. Come on. So the animals followed Snap. Where are we going? asked Porker. Here, said Snap. But this is the swamp, said Buster. <laughs> Perfect for water polo. So that was the day Snap started school and the Funky Valley football team played water polo in the crocodile swamp. I wonder where Dippy and Clara are now. It was a beautiful day in Funky Town. The sun was shining, the birds were singing, and Chipolata was running. Help! Help! said Chipolata. 
What's the matter? asked Clara. I need a makeover. Really? said Dippy. But I think you look lovely. It's the Funky Town Beauty Contest tomorrow and I want to look beautiful, said Chipolata. You know, beauty is not just on the outside, said Amadeus. It's what inside that makes us beautiful. Well, I've got four scones and a muffin inside me. Beautiful, said Dippy. There's no time to lose, said Clara. Let's get pretty. And so, at last, Chipolata felt beautiful. It was the day of the beauty contest. And Chipolata was feeling very nervous. Don't worry, you look lovely, said Clara. Like a princess, said Dippy. But Norris, who hated pretty things, wanted to ruin the contest. <laughs> Welcome to the Funky Town Beauty Contest. Let's meet our judges. We have Naomi Horse, Calvin Peacock and Amadeus Wolf. Oh dear, naughty Norris. Oh no, my hat is ruined, said Fleecy the sheep. That's terrible, said Chipolata. Here, have mine. Bah, bah, how kind, said Fleecy. <laughs> oh dear. Norris swapped the hairspray with a can of squirty cream. Oh, that's no hairspray. My hair is ruined. That's terrible, said Chipolata. Here, have mine. Oh, how kind, said the cow. Would you like some black currant juice? Norris asked Edwina the badger. But then... My dress! It's ruined, said Edwina. Oh, how terrible, said Chipolata. You can wear mine. You are kind, said Edwina. Let's meet our contestants. I believe we have one more to come. Chipolata? What happened to your hat? Chipolata asked Naomi. Bye. My hat got dirty, so Chipolata gave me hers, said Fleecy. Ah. What happened to your hair, Chipolata? asked Calvin. Mm. My hair was ruined, so Chipolata gave me her wig, said Maggie. And what happened to your dress, Chipolata? asked Amadeus. Don't tell me. Chipolata gave you her dress because yours was ruined. <coughs> he ruined our things. And the winner is Chipolata for being the most beautiful on the inside and the outside. And so that was the day Chipolata was named the most beautiful animal in Funky Town and the kindest.